everyone, I just made a video for my oral communication class and I wasn't going to make my second vlog today but I decided since I have my tripod and my camera and my settings on, I'm just going to do it. I don't have a script but I do have something I want to talk about so I'm going to set a timer for let's say 5 minutes because I really don't want to go through the editing process of this video again so hopefully I'm going to see how this works, I'm going to talk, hopefully something comes up something good comes out. If not, then I'll just remake this video and make a script and figure everything out. So here's my timer. Let's go. Today, I, today is February 4th, 2018. I competed for Miss Pride of New York and it was a great experience. I did not win though. And this is the first local pageant that I ever lost. And I don't mean that in a weird, like, um, cocky way, but it's definitely a learning experience, and I'm happy that this happened because it really showed me that my words that I told me of pageants don't define me was really real. It's true because I lost, and I'm not sad. I'm not. I'm really excited to make to compete again next March, uh, next month in March, March 11th. I'm going to be competing in another New York pageant. But I wanted to make a video today because I had something on my mind, and I wanted to share. Some, of me, some people have been asking me why I compete in the Miss America organization. I had one friend in particular who asked me this because she thought it was kind of degrading. And I understand that. Totally get that. That people look at Miss America organization and they think women in a swimsuit basically having to be pretty and like winning because they're pretty. And that is not what it is. The reason I compete in the Miss America organization, before I did it, well, I still do it for this reason. Scholarships. The Miss America organization is the biggest provider of scholarships for women. It's absolutely incredible. The pageants that I have done in the past have accumulated to a couple thousand dollars and it was such a great help coming here to Cornell University to pay for textbooks and things like that. I also have some friends who have gone really crazy. When to get up in the state and then at nationals, you just kind of gather money. So friend who has competed for a couple years and overall get gotten about twenty thousand dollars and then it's also um, a former Miss California who's gotten like $30,000 in scholarships and so it's just incredible way to earn scholarships. So that's probably maybe not my number one reason but very big reason on why I do it. Another reason is because it is definitely a learning experience. I have found that I have grown tremendously by being in the Miss Marigold organization learning how to communicate. I don't think people understand how hard it is to be on a stage in front of thousands of people and then answer a question that is politically um, politically based. I was looking for another word, but that'll work. I've also learned how to overcome failure because I've definitely made some mistakes. And when I was competing for Miss California's Outstanding Teen in 2012, 2013 maybe, I made the dumbest answer. It's, they asked me, I don't want to take time to go what they asked me, but I just made, I said, I was stupid. <laughs> it was pretty, it was really funny. It was kind of cringeworthy. But yeah, I just definitely learned about how to overcome embarrassment. That's a huge thing. I've also, I compete in the Miss America organization because I have met some incredible people and I've made amazing friends who are not superficial, who are not the stereotype of they had to, they like eat this weird diet to stay a specific type and all they care about is their looks. That is not what it is at all. They, I've met incredible women who are passionate about community service, promoting their platform that they have chosen to do throughout their reign, who are very scholastically driven, very smart individuals. When I competed in Miss California's Outstanding Team 2015, I have friends there. One's going to Berkeley, one's going to Harvard, one's going to Dartmouth. And it's just incredible. These You get a whole bunch of bright women together, and they just love what they're doing. And they're doing the Miss America organization, not for anything superficial, but instead to want to be an encouragement to other women. Another re So that was another reason. First was scholarships. Second was incredible people that I've met. And then third, I specifically this year, and after I have come to have faith in Jesus Christ, I have seen the Miss America plat um, organization as a platform to, to be a role model, but to share, to radiate light. So, yeah, I just think of... Miss America, I think she was Miss America 2014, Savannah, I think her, okay, her Instagram name is like Savvy Savannah, incredible woman who is a believer and who, even if she doesn't express it explicitly in her Instagram post 
about Jesus Christ, she definitely radiates his character and his love. And I think that the Miss America organization and winning that title has given her the platform of having followers and kind of a fan base, and I think she is using that for good. And so I want to become like, not like her, but that is one of the main, that is the main reason that I'm in the Miss America organization is because I see it as a platform to show love. And I'm excited to see where God takes me through this. Today was my first pageant back since I was a teen. I didn't win, but I'm still super excited to compete next next month. And five minutes are up. I think I got it all, basically. Yeah. Maybe I won't have to edit this video. Anyways, if you're here for the second, if you're watching my second video and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. I'm very excited to bring more videos to you. I've been super busy pre uh, prepping for this one pageant, but now I have some time to chill out. Still battling pancreatitis, but that's all good. Trust in the Lord. I know that it's going to be fine. So, hope you are doing well, and I'll see you next time.